1962 amplifier, commonly referred to as the Blues Breaker, is a true 60s icon that's still used today. This particular amp was tied to Eric Clapton of the Yardbirds and Cream. While on tour with the Juniors, Clapton was forced to leave his Marshall JTM behind in Greece. When he returned to London, he rejoined John Mayle and the Blues Breakers, but there was just one hitch. He was a guitarist without an amplifier. He went straight to Jim Marshall and convinced him to build a combo amp. When asked why Clapton wanted a combo amp, Jim would later say he wanted one so it would be easy for him to put the whole thing in the boot of his car. The initial development of Marshall's first combo took place in early 1964. It was based on the JTM45 bass chassis and was advertised as a bass slash lead unit, making it suitable for guitarists and bassists. This also provided an increased tonal range to many amps that had come before it. Once it was ready, Clapton purchased the 2x12 combo on a repayment plan and went on to use it for some of the most famous Bluesbreaker tracks, where he combined his 1962 combo with his trusty Gibson Les Paul. Because of its use on the John Mayle and the Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton album, the nickname Bluesbreaker was born. The amp provided a full sound that broke up but didn't fully distort. This allowed his tone to resonate clearly above the instruments played by the rest of the band. The amp was announced to the public in February 1965 to rave reviews. The first set of amps featured JTM45 styling with gold panels, black logos and white speaker fretcloth paired with Alnico 15 watt speakers. In August the same year, they got an updated look. The grey and white pinstripe fretcloth, script logo, single strap handle and straight front speaker baffle board are now instantly recognisable as distinct characteristics of the 1962 design. During this period, Marshall also released the 1961, which had similar internal workings but featured four 10-inch speakers and was available with an inbuilt treble. Over the coming years, the 1962 Bluesbreaker was updated to keep up with changing technology and was fitted with EL34 valves and Celestian G12 speakers. The Bluesbreaker took a break from the limelight to make way for the 100 watt full stacks, but a true hero can never die. Now offered as part of the Vintage Reissue series, the 1962 has recently undergone a massive resurgence.